it's story time again. All right, remember, we're on chapter five of Junie B. Jones. Remember what that chapter was called? Principle. Let's see what happens. After we left the nurse's office, we went to the main office. That's where the boss of the school lives. His name is Principal. He talked to us. Then Lucille raised her hand. My brother said that last year he had to come down here and you yelled at him. And now he's not allowed to be mean to kids at recess anymore. Principal kind of laughed. <laughs> then he held the door open for us to leave. After that, we walked to the water fountain and Mrs. let us get a drink. I didn't get a long one though, cause kids kept tapping on me. Hurry up, they said. Yeah, only guess what? I don't want to. Then I heard someone laugh. Her name is Junie Bumblebee, said Lucille. I didn't think it was a very funny joke. After that, Mrs. showed us where the bathrooms were. There's two kinds of bathrooms in our school, the boys' kind and the girls' kind. I can't go in the boys' kind, though, because no girls allowed, that's why. I tried to peek my head in there, but Mrs. snapped her fingers at me. Mm. The only boy who got to go into the bathroom was a shy boy. He was jiggling around very much. Then he started running. And then Mrs. said, William, are you having an emergency? And William yelled, yes, and he ran right into that bathroom. The rest of us walked back to our room. I touched Lucille's red fingernails. She said that her fingernail polish is called Very, Very, Very. I would like to have my fingernails red too, I said, but I'm only allowed to have the kind of polish that makes them look shiny. The name of that polish is Clear. I do not like Clear, I told Lucille. Me neither, she said. Lucille said, my brother said, when you ride the bus home, kids pour chocolate milk on your head. Really, I said. Then all of a sudden, my stomach felt squeezy again because I had forgotten I have to ride the bus home. That's why. Why did you have to tell me that, Lucille, I said. After we got back to room nine, we did some more work. It was a game to help us learn each other's names. I learned Lucille, and I also learned a girl's name, Charlotte, and another girl named Grace. Then I learned a boy's name, Ham, which I thought was strange because that's what I eat for dinner when I visit my Grandpa Miller. Pretty soon, Mrs. clapped her loud hands again. Okay, everybody, gather up your things. It's almost time for the bell. And that was when I heard it. I heard the noise in the parking lot. It was the screechy brakes. And so I looked out the window and I saw it, the yellow school bus. It's coming to get me. Oh no, I said. Now I'm going to get chocolate milk poured on my head like Lucille told me. Get in line, get in line, said Mrs. When we get outside, I want all of my bus students to follow me and the rest of you go to the crosswalk guard. Everyone was lining up. I was the very last one in line. Just then the bell rang and Mrs. marched out the door and everybody else marched out after her too. Except guess what? I didn't. Oh. What? Junie B stayed in the classroom? Oh no, that's not good. Should you ever be in the classroom when a teacher's in it, not in there? Mm-mm. Let's see what the next chapter is called. A good hider. And look at Junie B is hiding. Uh-oh. Well, we'll find out what happens tomorrow when we get together for story time again. Okay? Bye-bye.